the team formerly known as the Denver Broncos. Uh, we have a special show going on here. Uh, it's the Tampa Bay going to Florida. Going to, so I had to wear my most tacky Florida shirt I could find and celebrate in the pussification of the NFL. So uh, we have something of special announcement that we have to make here, and that is uh, uh, we listen to a lot of uh, our viewers. We listen to what they have to say and uh, our, our listeners, however you want to look at it. Uh, anyway, and the verdict is in. Uh, while everybody appreciates the team formerly known as the Denver Broncos, now being called the Walmart Generals, uh, they said it's not it's not quite there. There needs to be a tweak to it. And upon further review, I have to agree. So from now on, this channel will refer to the team once known as the Denver Broncos as the Walmart Dollar Generals, because see the uh, Walmart uh, ownership likes to spend those dollars on crappy quarterbacks. They like to spend those dollars on crappy head coaches. They like to spend those dollars on crappy tackles. They like to spend those dollars on um, crappy corners. They like to spend those dollars on crappy referees. And what they really, 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 really like to spend those dollars on is they love to spend those dollars on crap media, especially content creators that uh, gaslight and lie constantly. And I want to get into this uh, whole thing with uh, uh, reality is starting to set in yet again. It's the real season. is no more off-season lying and fantasies and everything else. Um, I wanted this. Uh, I want to know about this. Uh, this media of of the front office created by John Elway embraced by the new ownership uh attacking uh, uh Peyton uh Sean Payton uh because they always need some they can't blame the the people that got all these crap players so they got to go after somebody and now they're they're they're, they're turning that machine which was always there i mean after Russell Wilson they Went after Peyton, but they were told, no, no, no. Then they backed off. Now they're going after him. So I want to ask you about uh, this going after Sean Payton as the latest scapegoat. Well, I don't feel one ounce of sympathy for Sean Payton because he signed up for this. He's the one that took the bribe. So mm -hmm. I don't feel one ounce of sympathy for the guy. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say this. This organization is very inept it's one of the worst ran organizations in the entire nfl let alone sports in general we've seen in sports history mm -hmm. so again these players that <clears throat> sean payton has uh signed up for aren't his players because where he had success was in new orleans and your saint source told you to look up what happened uh, before the fact and after the fact, he had Drew Brees, but that's beside the point. I always look at the 53-man roster. I don't look at just one player. Uh, but he had a very well-oiled machine up there in New Orleans when he was able to get the player personnel that he wanted to run his system. And you also had Jeff Ireland, Mickey Loomis. I've already talked about this. I don't know why we have to continue to talk about this. I, because I, they don't – Because well, first of all, we got new people. And we got, you know, these people don't get to hear this because they're too busy getting gaslit. You know, they don't get actual facts, but go ahead. No, you're right. It's just, uh, again, I will go back. I don't feel one ounce of sympathy for Sean Payton. You signed up for it, Sean. You took the bribe. You could have stayed at Fox Sports, collected your money, or you could have went somewhere else that is a better ran organization. But you decided to come to the Walmart Dollar Generals mm -hmm. because you can't get your head out of your own ass and again you know what really sticks out to me out of this whole thing is what harbaugh said and why what he didn't he come here oh what did he say he said you have to clear out that front office before you i clear come out here. that front office because i have to run it my way 
And how's uh, how's Harbaugh doing? And this correlates to what I'm talking about. How's Harbaugh doing with the Chargers right now? <laughs> you remember all the crap we got, and everybody was laughing at us for saying that. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh all you want. La- laugh at my face, but again, go look at my track record. Go go look at all the videos we've done together, and look at my track record. Well, okay? that doesn't matter. It, it's all about gaslighting. I mean, you know. Bo Nix and, and Russell Wilson and Sean Payton, and then all of a sudden they turn on all of them. So, yeah, you know that that's a theme. That's a continuous theme I've seen with this Walmart Dollar General organization. Is they love to kill players, they love to kill coaches, but nobody wants to acknowledge the main nucleus of all the problems is that front office. And I'm going to say ownership too. Now, this this ownership this ownership's been in there. For what, almost, for what, two years now? Roughly two years? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Roughly two years now. This ownership group is so inept. So inept. I well, mean, that, you, yeah, that's why they embraced the suck of the trust. They embraced it. They, they ran with it. Harbaugh tried to set them straight, but. Oh, is, no. that, is that why, is that why, is that why they tried to beg Harbaugh what, three times? <laughs> I think it was four, actually. Yeah, three, four at least, times. At least they three. At least three. He was, yeah. Sean Payton wasn't even their first choice. No, they they even wanted to get D'Amico Ryan's, the head coach of the Houston Texans, and he said no, and would rather go coach the Houston Texans. And look at that! Look at that! But look, yeah. but but hey, look at the Texans player personnel. Why would he? Why would he want to come and play in this sandbox that yeah. that company built? Yes. Yes. Well, let's let's go to the track record with all these coaches. Before Sean, it was Nathaniel Hackett, right? Nathaniel Hackett, you know, what did he say? <laughs> We're not a quarterback away. We're not a quarterback away. We still got to get the player personnel fixed here. And then what did they do? They cut his balls off, put him in the back, uh, uh, put him in the corner and made him, you know, shut up because of what he said. And then what, well, what he happened? Ran, he ran his office on game one and then they said, oh, no, no. Yep. Can't do that. that segue into that, that from that because what okay let's go back to nathaniel hackett so he runs his his offense his type of offense game one oh no, no. and and then what did they run after that Pat Shermer football five Pat wide receiver sets 20 plus yards and you're seeing that you still you still see those same concepts concepts to this very day people this you still see the same concepts that pat Shermer ran when he was here and what he runs at the university of colorado still in this walmart dollar general organization yeah okay i want i want to talk about all these grifters that were created by the front office they they're on the attack now this is what i find very interesting now you haven't had a chance to look at the all 22 you're going to look at the offense what they ran, but what we were seeing during the game reminds me of Nathaniel Hackett, the Nathaniel, Nathaniel Hackett thing. They're all crying a river. Oh, it's his play call. But what success did they, the, what minute success did they have? And, and this is coming from people that, that know Sean Payton is, you know, who he is and, and that we didn't want him and you got what you got. Okay, even though we're saying that, what success did they have uh, with their uh, their scheming, and what what where did it fall fall apart? Well, when they had success, they were running the they were sticking to the running game, whether it worked or not, in the quick passing game. That's what they were doing. Right. Two to three stre- two to three step drops and get the ball out quick, which I. Yeah. Which, which I have said going all the way back to the Oregon film. I said that this guy, you need to do that with him. Yeah. And then what are we seeing? We're seeing 25 to 35 to 42 attempts a game, and, just and like we, we saw under Locke, just like we saw under Bridgewater, just like we saw under Keenum, so on and so forth. And then what happens? You either, number one, you get your quarterback killed. He's seeing ghosts out there. He can't predetermine, well, he predetermines his throws. He can't read the field. I mean, you know, you know who you know who Bo Nix reminds me of. Well, I mean, the little Bo, little Bo picks. You, you, yeah, you know who Bo, little, you, know who, you know who Bo picks reminds me of. The little little Bo picks. You want to know who he reminds me of? Oh, Brandon Whedon. 
<laughs> I wrote, oh, what, 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 what? Well, he, he, see, he, he was, but he was like a 29, 30 year old draft pick. I mean, how old is fucking Bo Picks? 24, little, little 25? Bo yeah, little Bo Picks. So this is what I saw. This is what I saw. I saw Sean Payton trying to run Sean Payton football, which is not, which is not, did I say is not, four or five wide receiver receiver set go balls, uh, spread concept crap. That's what the front office wants. And I saw that every time they wanted to run that, and they're, oh, they're clamoring Monday, Tuesday, what, oh my God, they're not running that. Every time they ran that, the wheels fell off the wagon. Every single time, because it doesn't work with this player personnel, especially that little Bo Picks that they have. That's what I saw. It, again, okay, so to that point that you said, he doesn't have any good tight ends. His receiving core sucks. Well, wait a minute, Dulcich, Dulcich, Dulcich. Oh, uh, Greg, Greg who? Yeah, I'm not, uh, not Olsen. Who? Who, who drops the ball? Oh, okay. Yeah. That offensive line is horrible. I mean, we... Whoa, 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 whoa. Get get this. Let me, let me say this. Let, let, me, this. let me say this. Let me try and get this through to the viewers, okay? You haven't had a good offensive line since the middle and beginning of 2014. How long is that, Chop's liver? Too long. How Too long. You haven't had a consistent week-to-week good offensive line since the middle to the beginning of 2014. Before that Rams game when we got our asses kicked in St. Louis. We had somebody from, somebody who's not a Walmart Dollar General fan say, yeah, your running back's running into brick walls. I said, you know what that brick wall is, don't you? It, it's offensive, your offensive line. line getting pushed back into your yeah. running backs. Yeah, yeah. But don't look at that. And here's the, that, this is the problem. You got a front office that does not, I mean, that's, that's kryptonite. You cannot discuss that. Then what they do, they, they, and I don't give a fuck what these people say, they obviously pay the refs not, and it's, it's league-wide too, but it's really bad with these generals. Yep. And I'm going to address this even league-wide. If you don't flag these guys, especially the Walmart generals, how in the fuck are they going to get better? If they know they can, they can fucking wrestle people, uh, choke them, they can tackle, but this offensive line leads the league in tackles. For God's sakes, man. It leads the league in tackles, this offensive line. How in the world are they ever going to get better if you allow that to keep going on? They won't. So the whole. I'm, I'm going to say this. Product, I'm gonna, uh, go ahead. Finish what you The you're whole saying. product goes down the fucking drain because I, you're not holding anybody accountable. None of these players accountable. They, I think well, there's get, one player on that offensive line. I think there is one player on that offensive line that I actually like, and that's Quinn and Miners, and he's completely regressing. He has sucked this year so far. Yeah. But that's the byproduct from the people upstairs because yes. they do not care and they do not value player development. And on top of that, you brought up how are these players supposed to learn. I don't think these players I, – I think these players are really bad. How the hell are they going to take the learning? Dude, they are not good players at all. Garrett Bowles has been a fucking bust since the well, why? Why should he do anything? Why, why should he do anything? He, he's, 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 been, he's, been, he's, been, he's been baby held since day one. You picked yes. over Ryan Ramschick. Now they call is holding unless they have to. But, okay, we'll, we'll find a ticky-tack penalty on the other you, team. You know, when all that, you know when all that changed? When Khalil Mack abused his ass. Mm. That's when everything changed. They they started to look away when Garrett Bowles was choking people. Had, Cleo Mack actually felt sorry for him. Yeah. He was like, uh, you know, like, don't feel sorry for him. And now let me tell you this. <laughs> Difference between old school players and new school. You grabbed an old school defensive lineman the way that these guys are bear hugging and neck choking. You just get punched right in the solar plex. And that guy'd say, if you ever grab me like that again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. You don't you dare do that. And it's happened. That was that's the way it was back in the day. Do now it's think, just. You think you think Lawrence Taylor would have fucking put up with fuck that shit? No. He would have he would have just hit bulls right in his solar plex. He says, you try that again. You grab me like that again. You think Lyle Isaiah would have put up with that shit? No. These guys never would have put up with that crap. 
it's part of the pussification of this this product. Part of that pussification. So I'm just saying that none of these players, it's like, oh, you know, the breaths will well, now they're 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 picking certain players out, like uh Williams. You know, if I'm Williams, I'm like, get rid of me. I'll go to another team. Again, 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 folks. They got okay. First off, I don't think Javante was a front office pick. I, I think that was a position coach pick. I yeah. think that was the running backs coach, and then he got fired a year later, and then he got, and then he went to Minnesota. Yeah. Again, you you keep doing this to players. Yeah. And you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Javante Williams again is just going to be another byproduct of these players getting yeah, well, the door. Yeah. Why? Why focus on the offensive line, making them yeah. better? Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Just get rid of Javon. You, you know, you know who the highest paid offensive line, one of the highest paid offensive lines in the NFL is the Walmart Dollar General's offensive line. And, and they're, they're a ball. Dollar General offensive line all the way. They're a crap offensive line, but why should they all, why should any of them give it? You shit? went out, you went out and got Mike McFlinchy. Yeah. Who, again, again, it's just the souped up version of the kid. Dude, that dude is so bad, man. And I tried telling you Walmart Dollar General fans that in the front office and the content creators, I tried warning you saying there's a reason why San Francisco didn't resign him and they were okay letting him go. And he doesn't fit the Sean Payton system. Well, they're not running the Sean Payton system. I know. I know. They don't have the players. They don't have the player personnel to. They, I, they don't know what they're, you got. You got a power struggle going on uh, over there. They brought Sean Payton, and you signed up for it. Yeah, right. I, don't, I, don't, I don't have one ounce of sympathy for you, Sean. No. I don't. I no. don't. We tried warning you, dude. We tried warning you. Well, the money's just too good. I mean, Harbaugh didn't. Well, that, uh, that's all the NFL is. They all care about is that Swift tonight money. Well, that, and that's why the product's going down down the tubes. Oh, I want to plug in our sponsor right now. Our uh, sponsor, uh, Bucket Man Mining Consortium, the world's <laughs> largest, sitting on top of the world's largest reserve of Swift tonight. <laughs> Swift tonight, it's what fuels content. <laughs> all right, and I tell you what, the the, the Walmart, the Walmart Dollar Generals. Can't get enough Swift tonight because they got to fuel that content, right? They're content creators. No. So, yeah, the, none of these players are, are – look at PS2. He didn't he, – I, I can do whatever I want. Oh, and he's getting caught. Well, wait a minute. They're not catching the offensive line. Why are you catching me? <laughs> well, forget about forget about accountability and getting better. It's all about what I can get away with, right? Again, if Patrick Sertan – the mo- one of the most overrated corners in Denver Broncos history. It's horrible. Ah, if horrible. he was such a good to an elite corner, why is it that teams game plan and throw on his side of the field consistently? I remember, I remember, watching, the no- I remember watching the no-fly zone. I remember watching the uh, Darrell Revis. I remember watching Richard Sherman, Champ Bailey. The list goes on. Watching old school tape on Louie Wright and all that. They would avoid throwing on their side of the field. And again, what happened when Aaron Rodgers and Green, the Aaron Rodgers Packers, came to Mile High and Rodgers what didn't even throw for a hundred yards against that against that defense in 2015? He got absolutely destroyed. Yeah, because th- that defensive line and that secondary and that middle linebacking was a cohesive unit, and they were in the same system, and they were players that were drafted by who? Adam Peters, who were brought in by who? Uh, Wade, Phillips. Oh, Wade, Wade Phillips. Yeah, Wade Phillips. So, again, uh, Patrick Sertan, in my personal opinion, does not deserve to be in the conversation with a Chant Bailey nor a Louis Wright. The Dollar General Corner. He's a Dollar General Corner. Just another uh, overpaid, overhyped, crap player. Yep. He, fit, he fits the Dollar Wait, General. You, you you gave the king's ransom to, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I might ask you this: How the fuck could they afford to pay him when they owe all this cat money? I don't. How the fuck did they get away with that one? They probably I, just like they get away with everything yeah, else. I, guess. I say get away with everything else, and these grifters and sports talk radio and the content creators just continue to defend it. 
no, I know. And that would, that's been a really, that's another topic. So many people are so done with this crap Walmart Dollar General. I, I am one of those people, by the way. Yeah, yeah well, we are. And, 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 and uh, they don't care. They, all the old football people that actually like the sport, they could give a shit less. They could all go. We've got the players union and, and all their little petty little things. We've got the NFL. All they care about is contests. Taylor Swift likes and follows. They don't give a shit about the actual product anymore. That's just an excuse. That's just arbitrary. And the new people that are coming in, they're a bunch of virtue signalers. They have no mind of their own. They don't even know the game, really. They don't understand it. They don't care. I mean, you could watch this game as somebody who understands football and see what's going on out there. It's obvious. It's easy and obvious. And they just think that these people are so stupid. This new fan, this new fan thing that they've created, uh, virtue signals, Taylor Swift, uh, Swift tonight's, as you say, uh, all this stuff. Uh, uh, you know, elect Kansas City. Somebody brought up Kansas City. You know, do, anybody can watch and see they're, you know, they're trying to make do everything to make Mahomes Tom Brady. Yeah, but the, but but then on the other coin, you have the NFL trying to promote the Walmart Generals who haven't had anything. Well, to no, sub- well, I know I they're can't. trying to promote them. What they're trying to do with the Walmart Generals is is they're trying to make them relevant. Yeah, and they're not. They're 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 not. They haven't been relevant for nine years. They're, everything there. I mean, the teams have to do everything they can to help out the Walmart generals. The referees have to do everything they can to help out. And this freak show, and it is a freak show, this freak show's heading to Tampa. And Tampa, you better get ready because, first of all, your guys are going to be under a microscope. And I'm asking Tampa uh, people, just like I asked Steeler, just like I asked uh, Seahawks, are you guys going to do everything you can to help this crap bottom feeding team out? Are, are you going to be everything you saw this last week when you played Detroit? Is that all just going to get flushed down the toilet and you're going to see this freak carnival fuck show go on with your team and the Walmart generals? That's Walmart dollar generals. That's what I really want to know. Because every, but Seattle, oh, yeah, no, no, you're right. Pittsburgh, I said, you're going to love all the holding. It's going to happen. Sure enough. Well, what's going on out there? You know, and also every little, even they, they even had bogus calls against them, but every little just ticky tack, they, they focused on that. And you better believe it, Tampa. Any little thing they can get you guys on, they are, because they are desperately trying to make this team relevant. And it is a, I think it's worse than, like you said, I agree. It's worse than the Panthers, I'm sure. If they actually just let them play football and uh, without calling the two touchdowns the Steelers got back, let them play. Just let this, it, they'd be buried each and every time. Any any thoughts no, on everything you said was right on the money. Again, I just I don't enjoy watching them. I just don't enjoy it. it, it it's 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 like being forced to watch something while you're in, you know, in a gulag somewhere, you know, trying to get information out of you. It, it's, I'm so done with it. I am so done with it. It's like, like I'm being sitting tied to a chair. chair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tied to a chair, watching the Walmart dollar. I mean, if you want to get information, out of you, Chris, just turn on the Walmart dollar generals and they'll give you uh, information on uh, what, uh, what's going on in their uh, information and in their camp. So, and Walmart Dollar General fans, if you're going to go to the game, wear a bag over your head. Send a yeah. message. Send a message to to the ownership. Send a message to them. We you can't. You and, I, you, way and I, out. you and I need to do that. We need to do a podcast where we have bags over our head. I know that's what Eddie said. Yeah. W W D G. Put Walmart Dollar General. Dollar Generals. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And every fan should go out there with with a bag over their head. Walmart Dollar Generals. Until maybe they give them, you can't buy your way out of this. You're just making it worse. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a, they have deep pockets and they don't know. You, exactly. you know, you know, what's funny. This is the ninth year in a row where they've hyped up, where they have gaslit these fans and they always, and then they always pan in the fourth quarter and they're in droves of uh, Walmart uh, dollar general fans are leaving the stadium with their heads down. That's yeah. been going on many, for nine years. 
Is it going to be 10 years, 12 years, 20 years of being gaslit and lied to? Is that what you're looking forward to? Oh, yeah. How come they, everybody they like it? They enjoy it. They enjoy it. I mean, me and our same source talked about how the people in New Orleans weren't putting up with the, the shit that's going on like here. They wouldn't put up with it. Uh, team, other people around, they're like, why is it that, you, that they believe this shit all the time? They're asking us. What? And I said, I, I said, I think it's the new fan. I think it's it's worse now because I think that, you know, you can lie to these people. They get lied to on the regular. I mean, I'm just going to go off topic here a little bit, but that the piece of shit Bill Gates is, he's he's putting a net pricks uh, show on about, and we're all the problem. See, you know, we have a problem. We, the billionaire trillionaire club, right? We have a problem. There's too many icky poo people and, and we got to come up with solutions. Yeah, that little dog shit, that little fucking Oh, pile of poop is going to lecture me. You know, he's he's the problem. He's the problem. Not not the rest of us. He is. And his minions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And people will just, you know, go along with it, man. They'll just eat that shit up because who is it? Bill Gates. I mean, hey, Bill Gates, you can go fuck yourself, buddy. Exactly. Because you ain't going to dictate what the fuck I do on a regular. Yeah, you should get pissed off. You absolutely should. That's absolutely acceptable. I don't need the son of a bitch lecturing me about how to get rid of us icky poo people, how to take yeah, care of that. But you, 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 yeah. can't, you can't address the problem head on. Yeah, you can't address the problem, just like these uh, Walmart generals are never allowed to. You, you can't, you can't generals. address anything. You can't address the front office. You and, I, you and I have spoken till we're blue in the face about this front office child deliver. We have spoken, we, it, it, year after year, you know what? It is our, you know what it is? You know what it is? This might just be my last season doing this because I am sick and tired of this. I got, we got roped into this. We got roped into it again, man. I it just, it is, it is draining. It's like a chore. It's like, it's like watching this. It's like you're in a gulag watching this shit. It is so unenjoyable to watch. No, I know. I know. Tied to a chair and having forced to watch it. Okay, yeah. kids. Okay, yeah. kids. If you're bad, we're gonna make you watch the uh, Walmart yes. Dollar Generals. Yes, yes. You yeah. were telling me that. You were telling Bubble Man and I that. You brought it up in a past video. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, force you to watch the uh, Walmart General uh, you Dollar. Know, but my family, my family won't even sit and watch. The, they turn it off at half, or they turn it on. They turn it off after the first quarter because yeah. they're like, what the? They're like, what the fuck is this? Well, that's what did the Seattle people and the, the Steeler people say? Yeah, yeah. After the, you know, if Seattle goes and plays the normal game, uh, Seattle comes off a good normal game. And then it's like, what is this freak show I'm watching here? Well, it's the Walmart Dollar Generals, don't you know? This is what comes to town. This is what you got to go to when you go there. So, I like I said, I was sitting in the last video, I don't, the NFL's got to come up with a decision because this is, you can't save you. You can't save this turd. You can't this, this dumpster fire. This is why I enjoy doing what I do, being a high school linebackers coach, because I have the freedom to develop players and watch the fruits of those developments grow. That is why I enjoy my job so much. Well, what, my side job. It's mostly my side job. My main job is, you know, it is what it is. I don't get enough sleep anymore. But that being said. I enjoy doing that because of the kids, and I enjoy doing that because I want to see them go on and be successful college football players. And you know what? In the back of my mind, I know once they get to the NFL, if they get to the NFL, they're fucked because you know they're the 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 player, the coaching of linebackers. Well, I think coaches, once they get to college, it's it's iffy at best. It depends. No, no, no. I'm not going to go that far because it depends on where what school you go to. It depends on what school you go to. You know, this is why. I got a player who is very, very being recruited hard by North Dakota State. Again, I'd rather him go to that school than fucking Al Arkansas. Man. Or Al no, nah, yeah, yeah, because the Nick Saban isn't there anymore. But yeah. like I'd I'd rather have him go there than Arkansas or Miami or well, Florida. Well, how about uh how about the Dion's? You could you could play for the Dion's. You really think Dion wants to recruit my players, man? Get the fuck out of here. Bro. 
that dude only cares about his son and Travis Hunter. That's it. I know. I know. He doesn't give a fuck about anybody else. And, hey, just a little bit of a uh, side note to these Colorado Buff fans. Good luck when he leaves at the end of the year and then all those all those transfer portal players that he brought in leave too. Yeah, yeah. So you're going thought... to be stuck at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. And this is why Matt Rule in like, Nebraska. This like is why Matt. That. This is what 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 have I sent you over the past year? Where I have people going on podcasts, people going on this, that, and the third, saying the way Matt Rule's doing it at the University of Nebraska is more sustainable than Dion in Colorado, and you're <laughs> seeing that. But who was saying that before all they said that? Yes. Duh. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So let's let's get back to the uh, the Wall Dollar General. So there's all this talk that because Bo uh, Little Bo picks uh, Little Bo picks he uh, only would have had three interceptions this time as opposed to six last game. It's showing improvement. Can you tell us about that improvement? I'm not going to comment on that. It's such a bullshit art. I'm not commenting. <laughs> I'm not, it just, it's like, dude, come on. What? Oh, wow. Six picks or three picks shows improvement. Oh, oh, oh. how about no picks? No picks. How about more TDs? Anyway. God, man, these people are fucking stupid, dude. God. I know. I know. I know. I won't Actually, say- let me, let, no, no, no. Just, just repeat what you just said there. Oh, wait a second. Who's the quarterback he reminds you repeat of? Repeat what? No, Chops Liver. What did, just repeat what you just said. Oh, about the, uh, well, it's only three picks this time as opposed to six picks last time. How stupid does that sound? <laughs> it's, it's normal, normal verbiage for these contests. How, right how stupid does that sound? Well, it's, I'll tell you how stupid it sounds. It sounds as stupid as this guy's the, the next uh, breeze. This guy, you know what? Well, you know what? Um, Eddie, the our Saint source said, he said, Breeze in in, in Purdue. He's not that Will Bo picks isn't even in the same universe as as Breeze in Purdue. I could have told you that. Yes, it's just like he, when he was listening to all this stuff, he was like, "Oh man, I, I can't believe I heard what I just heard." Three picks compared to six picks shows improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they didn't want to mention the three pick part or the six pick, but you know, that's basically we know. We I think didn't we count like three picks that he should have had? I was thought it, it was four. Could have been four. Well, he's two down from what he was yes last week. Tell me the quarterback you said that reminds me you of him again. Brandon Whedon. <laughs> Whedon, okay. Whedon. We got Whedon. We'll make we we'll make Whedon into uh, I, yeah I, I just I I that really just that right there just that made my day I mean I, I can't believe we have content creators and grifters saying that shit I mean you guys are so dumb in the head seriously well well they know they're just doing it for a paycheck but it's the people that actually swallow that garbage I know I know that that's where you're really scratching your head wow I I wow. Yeah, that's all I can say too. Again, how is the how how are the Walmart Dollar Generals going to win this game against Tampa? What does Tampa have to do and not do in order to gift 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 a game to the Walmart Dollar well, General? Uh, well, first off, you have the refs. They're going to be on the Walmart General side. We all know that. Yeah, you're going to have to turn it over. You're gonna have to Quite not play not not play not Tampa much. Bay football. Not play Tampa Bay football. Yeah, not, do not play Tampa Bay football. You've been playing for the last two weeks. That's yeah, not yeah, out yeah, the door. Yeah, yeah. And it'll miraculously go away when we play the Walmart Generals. Yeah. Well, it's because of our defense, because it's the top five defense. Dude, get the fuck out of here. They didn't take those two. They didn't take those two scores back from uh, uh, those ticky tacky penalties. What what did we see? What did we see in the first half when Pittsburgh when they were running the ball? Uh, the attack in the edges. Uh, oh yeah, against who? Oh, and by the way, by the way, Baron Browning's on IR again. Just saying. You know, you know, <laughs> you know. This is so. This is what. This is what I have to get off my chest. You remember when all you grifters t- tried to tell me that he's an edge player? How has he been on the edge? 
Cody Rourke. How's he been on the edge, Cody? Hey, Cody, how's he been on the fucking edge? If Cody, huh? when, when he was next to who? When, when, when Fangio tried to fucking do it the right way. Who did he have him next to? Uh, the guy from uh, the Rams. Kenny Young. Kenny Young, that, right? Yeah. Oh, and then what happened? Oh, let's move him to the edge. Because and that's where they started to get this uh, in their uh, pass, yeah. in their middle pass yeah. coverage. What's that? And that's where they started having some success. They had success with their uh, uh, in their passing. Yeah, lanes. Because, why? Because of his sideline to sideline ability and what he was a good coverage player in the middle of the better field. Yes, the one of the better coverage. Don't fucking get it, do ya? No, they don't. They don't even understand coverage linebacking. But, and what else? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is another way that Tampa Bay loses the game. Everybody is uh, not attacking these uh, linebackers uh, in the passing game lately like they should be. That's also kept this. That's kept these generals uh, in the game a lot better. If if Tampa attacks these, we see a lot more attacking of these linebackers in the passing game they will be able to move the ball efficiently but you know, you know there's a guy on the tampa bay buccaneers that i'm very intrigued by and he played for the university of nebraska and he's a slot receiver for him and that's trey palmer that dude is gonna abuse whoever is on him and i'm dead serious dude that dude's separation ability is insane you know that receiving core over there in Tampa Bay again. You're well, going to forget though for that. Yeah, one. yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to have Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and Trey Palmer. Well, which one is? Uh, After uh, Sertan, you're going to try. Oh, the receiving yeah, core you faced last week isn't compared to the receiving core you're facing this week. Yeah. So who's Pretzel going to be? Who's Pretzel going to cover? Pretzel, Mike yeah. Evans. Mike Evans and. Uh, not and then the Riley Moss will probably have Chris Godwin. Now, this should be a no-brainer, right? This should be an, a, an ass-kicking, right? This should be an ass- This should be- and, and, and you know, Go ahead, go ahead. This should be a fucking take you behind the barn and kick your fucking defense. This wonderful, great defense, kick their fucking ass, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, who plays left tackle for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I the guy, the, the guy that I wanted from Iowa, who they picked Jerry Judy over. Oh, okay, okay. Tristan Wirfs. Yeah. Oh no, well, you you don't need you don't need tackles because he, the, he re, is, the refs. He's a top five left tackle in this. Yeah, league. no, you don't need you don't need that. I mean, the refs are taking care of it. If that you're gonna course. sit there and tell me that Nick Burrito's gonna abuse that man, <laughs> you guys are fucking stupid. Well, the well, how again? The way you use burritos, you got to move them around and hope. Hope he that gets dude sucks. That dude hope he sucks. gets a free run. Hope he gets a free run. <laughs> I have no idea why that does. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> it just does it. B B Bill Gates is giving you flowers. Uh, I know. Anyway. <laughs> well, it was balloons. I think they were balloons. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just fucking around. But anyway, yeah. yeah uh, Nick Burrito, the the minute success that he has is when he comes untouched, and we saw that. We saw that in this game, and we saw that in Seattle. Again, he just runs right past the guy, and the guy's like, like he's just looking at him. It's like Cam Newton. It's like Cam Newton when he throws the ball. <laughs> Cam Newton or little Bo Picks? Bo Picks. Uh, little little Bo Picks. He doesn't even scan the field. He's like. Did you like in this game that because he improved, right? Did you like in this game how they touched him? As they were as they were getting bear hugged by the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Him, oh, and he falls over. That Whedon. dude is that dude sucks, man. That that dude Whedon. is Whedon. Yeah, Whedon. yeah. Well, it's Whedon. Sean, Sean Payton, you you don't understand. He's holding him back. Yeah, he's not so. he's not doing enough go balls. Did, didn't we hear all off season that he's a Sean Payton quarterback? That's all. The, the whole thing was built off of that. Yeah. He's He's Breeze 2.0. Leave, leave it to the Walmart generals to change their tune when reality smacks them in the face. Oh. The Walmart dollar generals, sorry. I see it every fucking season. I know. But the offseason was a construct of fantasy and unicorn farts. 
<laughs> you know, that's all these fuckers do is give you unicorn farts all day long. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. But yeah, reality, that's, that's how these walk, us. That, that, that's how those Walmart Dollar Generals watch the grifter. Yeah. Yeah. Eating it all up. And then they get mad at us for being right. I know. They hate us. Yeah, because we don't buy the bullshit. But oh. you know what? We're growing. That one, that one, uh, what it works at the front office for the Broncos. <laughs> Nobody's watching, <laughs> and it's growing. I said it'll always be watched if we decide to keep doing this, because you people will always fucking suck and get it wrong. You know what's you funny like, too? You know how you know I? You don't want to know why I know they watch us is because they do the opposite of what we say. They yeah. try so desperately hard the to team, do the opposite. The team. The team. Yeah, I know. And then what happens when they actually have success? We brought it up. The, sticking to the running game and the quick throws, two to three set drops, get the ball out quick, baby. I think that offensive line has regressed in the running game. I too. know, I know, but I know. Let me do this too. Did, didn't this, didn't this uh, offensive line look great against second stringers? Didn't they look at against third stringers? No, at- no, <laughs> but they didn't. They didn't. And, and, and you, you yeah. saw that Green Bay Packers game? Come yeah. on now, bro. God. I'm, about the running game. I'm talking about the running no, game. No, I know. I know. No, I know. I know. I know. No. Just to make sure. Yeah. So they're running into brick walls because none of these guys, guys are getting pushed back. <laughs> yeah. If I'm a running, if I'm a running back for the Walmart Dollar Generals, oh yeah, I'm confident running behind Garrett Holds and Ben Powers and Mike McClinchy. Yeah. You know what? It's it's like this, dude. Yeah. What about the center? What? Yeah. Running behind him. Don't even get me started with Luke Wattenberg, dude. That dude is. <laughs> That, yeah, so what's blame this running back? You got Williams has got to be thinking, yeah, you know, I may be out of here. <laughs> I just made it out of here after all. Yep. What a fucking freak show that is over there. What a bunch of losers. What a, oh, can you imagine just working there? How bad it would be to work there? I would hate my job. Where, yeah, I would hate my job. I know. Just send me anywhere else. Just get me out yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah. Send me to the gulag. Just just send me to the fucking gulag. So our take is that the only way Tampa Bay lose, I mean, they really got to give this game away. They have got to give it away. Yeah. That's the way. What how this game really should go? If the referees Take them behind the woodshed and kick their ass, Tampa. Give them behind the woodshed ass whooping. I'm talking about Miami last year. Yes. It should be an ass whooping in monumental proportion. Should be. But again, Tampa Bay people, are they going to be un- do, do like the last two teams did? Be uncharacteristic. Uncharacter. Yeah, there's that money. Get that Walmart money coming in. That Walmart Dollar General money. Yeah, if I worked for the Walmart Dollar General, just send me to Dollar General. Just send me to Walmart. Seriously, I'd, I'd rather work there Does than that the help the, this this team out. They just suck. Dude, they yeah. suck. Why, why, it's just like like I said with with little Bo picks. Why should I have to prove anything? Oh, oh you know, and, and, the, and the, you know what? You're absolutely correct. And here's another thing too. They they want to bring a, a woman in to coach here. Dude, of course they do. The fu- no, no, hold on. Let, let me just say this, and I don't give a fuck if this sounds sexist. I don't care. If I'm an offensive lineman or a linebacker, why the fuck am I going to – if I'm an offensive lineman, okay, why the fuck am I going to listen to a woman tell me how to kick, step, and pass protect Miles Garrett? Seriously. Yeah, yeah. Now here, This is what I got to – this is the only way it would work. Oh, pussy fire. This is the only way – this is the only way it would work. Yeah. Alex Gibbs has a daughter. Alex's <laughs> daughter comes and it had been with Alex Gibbs. I could listen to her. I could listen to her because she'd been around. You can say no all you want, but I'll tell you one thing. If Alex Gibbs had a daughter and it was around him <clears throat> and spent years with him, I would take her absolutely over a lot of these fuckheads that are in this right now. Males. But how let me this is my question. How many do uh, how many women have been around it? Zero. I'm just not. I'm just telling you. I, I, would, know, I know, I know, I know where you're coming from, but I'm just not. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm taking a look. Let me tell you about corners. <laughs> Most of these coaches are trash, garbage. I don't care what you 
You want to talk I, about offensive? I don't care if this sounds offensive. You freaking coaches don't know how to coach corner play safety play anymore. You I forgot agree. how to do it. It's all about it's all about what you call coverage. I know. It ain't coverage, okay? It never was about that. I That's know. just use for it. But you've lost the art of it, okay? So I don't want to uh, even the men that are coaching anymore. Okay, I, it's just it's just been an, an abomination across the board. I'm sorry. You're 100 percent right. That anybody? That I don't. Again, it, it doesn't offend me because look at the linebackers in today's NFL. They're dog yeah. shit. Well, yeah, the, yeah, and only a few teams yeah, out you, there. You, yeah, you get your anomalies. You get your Fred Warner's. You get your Roquan Smiths. You get your Patrick Queens. That's pretty much it. Well, they, I mean. They, and hit yo, they don't want to hit anybody anymore. To get the just get the flags on. Just get the flags on, get it over with. You do your kick so your players won't have to run from a hundred yard dash or whatever it is, 75 yard dash, and maybe grab their chest and, and fall over and go into convulsions, you know, in this day. You know, these last few years, right? I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah. So uh anyway. Controversial show as always. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna hedge a bet that YouTube bans this video. I you don't think they do. What? I don't think they haven't banned really a so lot. Well, of people. what we talked about today, we've never done before, so I doubt they do. Oh, I do. I have, I have a better chance of getting banned and removed than you do. Oh, I got. <laughs> oh yes, I've already had four channels taken down. No, four. Not one thing. I have had a video taken down when oh, I. Oh, wow, a video. Well, yeah, but you're not getting this. You're not listening. It was what we talked about, what I talked about specifically. I talked about, I've told co workers what to invest in. And it had to do with a, uh, a clock shot. They didn't want that getting out there. So there are, there are things they will shut me down for. So we'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. No, but yeah. to this game, this game on Sunday, in all reality, in, in all seriousness, this game on Sunday, if this was a real football game, Tampa Bay should take the Walmart Dollar Generals of the, you know, the back of that pirate oh, shit and and beat the shit, beat the fucking that. shit. True, true that. Yeah. So. And if they don't, you know, if Tampa Bay fans are going to be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, you know what, Tampa Bay? You're, you're going to have to just accept reality and know that they got this and this. Yeah, got the call and got the cash. <laughs> got the cash. Got the Walmart Dollar General cash. Yeah. <laughs> with a little smile. Yeah, with, yeah, 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 yeah. With the big old smile on it. <laughs> yeah, it's really going to help this. Uh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, yeah. just, hey, content creators and grifters. Oh, is he is he going to go down to three interceptions to two now? I mean, are we making progress? He's just, just going to have one interception. Oh, he's just going to have one interception. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Little boat. You know, picks. you know, you know who they're facing this week on the defensive line, and you're going to love this. Vita Vea. Remember him in the Super Bowl against against Mahomes. Remember that? Yeah. No. 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 You, you don't need the. Yeah. He's nobody. Oh, okay. We tackle him with hey, the hey, hey, Luke Wattenberg, you have your hands full, buddy, this week. You think Cameron Hayward? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll help Luke. Bad? We'll put two guys. We'll put two I know. Guys. I know. You, you think Cam Hayward was bad? Wait till you face Vita Vea, who's like 6'2", 330 pounds. We'll have – what we'll do is we'll have Powers hold him by up here, and then Luke Wattenberg can grab him by the waist and hold him down there. You know what they're gonna do? You're gonna have Luke, you're gonna have Ben Powers hold him up here, and then uh, Luke Wattenberg is gonna go for the knees and yeah, hold yeah, up his. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they can get a double <laughs> tackle. I mean, they get they both get credited on a tackle for that one. My God, this O line is absolute garbage. Garbage. It's been garbage since 2014. You know that. Oh, yeah. yeah, it got worse every. It's gotten worse and worse and worse. Mike yeah. Munchak tried. He, he tried, but no, no, no. Nope, because why he's playing in the front office, what? Sandbox. Sandbox, just like Fangio, just like Hackett, just like Sean Payton is. And you yeah. know what? I don't, you're right. I don't feel one ounce of sympathy for Sean or yeah. these other coaches. You guys signed up for it. Yeah, you got that Walmart, you got that Walmart Dollar General money, baby. Yeah. 
Like I said, they love spending. I would never go love, to the Walmart General, Dollar Generals. Never. Yeah, they never. love spending that Dollar General on on uh, quarterbacks, co- uh, yeah. high head coach. They just love it. Corners, corners. Corners. Oh, yeah. Receivers, yeah. Receiving core that's regressed every year. Yeah, you know, yeah. And you know what? That's one of their most invested. You know what's funny? That's one of their most invested positions, and they still suck at it. Where's Marvin Mims? He's kicking off. He's getting those kickoff returns. Where's Putt? Trey Franklin? By who? 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 Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I never heard of the guy. Never heard of the guy. Cortland Sutton, your highest paid receiver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see him anywhere. That dude, dude, Cortland, you want to talk about a player that sucks? Cortland Sutton sucks. Yeah. Well, him and uh, him and the other guy on the other on the defense can they can go have lattes together, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's why they got the yeah the, the Walmart de- general the, do- the Walmart dollar, gen- dollar general money. So yeah, yeah, the that's Walmart it. dollar generals. That's it for me. Oh, me too. Oh, God, get fired up and you know. So just expect another dog shit game. I'm sure. Uh, team has to play down to the generals. Uh, so, so it's probably going to be like a 17, 13 game or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and everybody in Tampa is like, what the fuck is this shit? And you and I are going to be on the fucking, I'm just going to be like, yeah. I'm going to be oh, it's scripted. They're going to win this time. Oh yeah. They yeah, just, yeah, yeah. They're going to go in and show Tampa. Right. Little D, right. Little D. <laughs> little D. God, this is, I, this, and he's another guy that's got to buy subs and likes and desperately needs subs and likes. Uh, little <laughs> D, little D. And the, the person that we're talking about is Darren McGee, whatever the fuck his name is. And what about, uh, I still, I didn't get a chance to listen to, to Sandy Cheeks. Oh, he, he hasn't has been on. <laughs> he's got to show these never he's not on. Little D. Still, he's not two losses, and he's just no, he's a MIA. So yeah, 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 yep. Little D, little D, little D. It's really a real, real small little D. Little D. Yeah, well, you should have a baseball show. That's what you should have. You should stop talking about football. Yeah, yeah. You, you really have an excuse, make isn't he, Mister Truth himself, right? Mister Truth himself. Yeah, little for every. You ever Bo Nix, man? You go, oh my God, Bo! Oh my! Did you? Can you? Uh, uh, what Whedon? You're saying Whedon is what? <laughs> little D, little D. Oh, Frankie, get over to Hollywood. No, oh, that's not that's not Frankie, but he looks like a Frankie. You look like a Frankie. Yeah, you look little like D. a Frankie. I get the... You like little D? <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. The the critics have, have spoken. The critics have spoken. He likes his little D. Yep. <laughs> God. The fuck is I, I, I know. I know. I know. All right. I'll let you go. All right. I'll talk to you later, Chot's Liver. Kirk out. Right. Oh, and I have to record this, you know, on the phone. I, it will never save. So they've they've. You know, especially now we talked about Gates, so we'll probably won't even get a video. Ah, uh, got it. <laughs> oh, it just, you can't get away from these vampires, man. You I'm know what, but Chuck Liver, I know that you're afraid of the, the video game, man, but it had to be said. So I'm not going to sit here and be quiet. I, I want, I don't care. Well, I, I, just, well, I know, but I just got to make sure I know, that I know, we didn't I waste know, our time. I know, I know, but I'm not afraid to say that shit because I just don't care. Well, I would be, like I said, you got to go to where these, uh, that's driving these billionaire yep. trillion crazy because yep. we can't censor them. Oh, well, they're they're holding us accountable. Oh. Yeah, yep. I'm just sick of them getting away with all this stuff, and I'm just done with it. So I that's all. Too. I know and there's a lot of people are sick and tired of it too. So yep. there, there's that's that. That's all I'm gonna say. So. All right. Well. All right. Spock out. Spock out.